So Suresh sir, you are ready sir, we can start. Suresh sir. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, ah, yes sir, we can, I can hear you sir. Can, ah, you, can you able to, can, uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, uh, please. Okay sir, I think you can, uh, Put your PPT also in the this one, I think, sir. Sure. So it's just one second. I'll put your poster, then we will start, sir. Hello. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now it's clear. I'm just updating some echo. Are you clear with uh, your side? Yeah, yeah, we are clear, sir. Very clear, it is. No issues. Sir. Okay, sir. I'll start, sir. I think. Uh, one second. Yeah. Are you okay? Okay. People is okay. Right. Okay. We will yes. start. Yes, sir. Okay. So thank you uh, for all the students who have joined in our uh, day three of second session. So we welcome our uh, today's speaker, uh, uh, Dr. S. Suresh, who is uh, Dean of uh, uh, Kalanjal Karnanadi Institute of Technology, Coimbatore. So it's immense pleasure to invite our speaker of the day for the day two, day three of second session. So I'll also like to invite all our students who have uh, connected with our uh, online session. So I think uh, we are almost completed nine sessions, uh, day three and uh, total of uh, three days and uh, we are entering into the 10th ses session of uh, us. So very important, I think uh, uh, we almost completed 13.5 hours. So by uh, we are stepping inside yes, and uh, we are entering into the 10th ses so session of very warm. Uh, uh, so very important, I think, because uh, delicates and everyone who's completed the training in five hours. So before I we are stepping inside, like initiate yes, and we are entering the tenth session of like the speaker of the day. So very important, I think, because delicates and everyone who's completed the training in five hours. So before I we are stepping inside, like yes, and we are entering the tenth session of like the speaker of the day. So very important, I think, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I
I think uh, we ask our uh, speakers to take up this session now. So please. Sir, yes, sir, you can initiate, sir, you can start. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anyway, yeah. very good evening, one and all here. Can you hear me all? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very clear. Yeah. 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 It, it, give us, it, it gives me immense pressure. It, it gives me immense pressure to talk about a uh, uh, subject which is going to be the future. Uh, first of all, I'd like to register my wholehearted thanks for the entire team for uh, giving me an opportunity to, to talk to the youth people. At the outset, I like the KIT management for giving me an, uh, for giving me an permission to do a webinar through the uh, biggest team with the IEI and Orsago. But first, I want, before going to the content, Actually, I want to narrate what is happening really. For the past two days, I was with the same session and I, I just came to know that yesterday there was an inspiring session by and Dr. Ilanguvan sir. He said that what we are really doing, what we are doing really in real engineering or really we are doing for the want of marks or degree. In that way, that the entire system, the education system, uh, all, all, of, all over India, what we are actually taught in the campus and what we are actually doing is just for marks. But really, when you are coming out of the campus, then we are really suffering for the job or whatnot. Engineers are not should be like that. They, will, they have to create because they are creators. In every uh, meeting, I used to say always, every engineer are equal to God. Because God is a creator of world in such a way, every engineer is a creator of technology. We are creating the technology, we are giving the technology to the society so that the society is developing day by day. Uh, you, everybody knows about the earlier stage, how, how we are and know what we are and future, what, how we are going to be. In that way, keep it in your mind that we are doing an engineering which means, um, I want to say one thing here, the difference between the science and engineering. Science is something like, you, know, you can read it and you can mug up it and you can produce it. But engineering is reading it, observing it, and making use of the physical thing to the products and then to the usable products to the consumer. In that way, engineers are always best. Uh, I humble request to every budding engineer is to, you should be a creator, you should be a Brahma. In that way, now we are going to the versatile technology, the forthcoming technology in future, Internet of Things, and I'm going to talk about um, how Internet of Things is going to rule the world in the early future. 
when internet of things is coming into existence and uh, how far this cyber security is going to have a pinch on it and i'm going to touch uh, about uh, cyber security as well as internet of things now let's go one by one uh, before starting i properly uh, register my thanks one second to the entire team iei and as well as ursago and all the uh, partners of this greatest um, intern summer internships continuously for seven days 32 hours uh, thank you uh, everybody let us go to this topic now this is the evaluation of technology normally you know you are using telephones now the telephone has been um, i mean the, the, the telephone has been modified as a mobile earlier we were using these kind of de desktops now we are using the cloud and earlier we were using a car like this and now a car is in that way like a smart car a totally unmanned uh, vehicle uh, taking off taking control by itself this is what uh, technology is evolving not only in this area in every engineering field you can able to see a dramatic change of developing in technology day by day but whether we are competent to take this one is the real question because we are we are we are no we are we are like programmed robot to do a particular thing called continual continuously mapping the previous questions and uh, continuously producing the thing in terms of two marks in terms of higher um, i mean like big i mean higher answers and just we are looking for the percentile but not looking for the knowledge and that's why uh, that's why we are always lagging but technology is day by day it is driving uh, and we are we are moving faster and faster particularly as far as india is concerned for the past 50 years you just take it out how far how is india before and how india is now and how india is going to be in future definitely that is a dramatic change this change could be possible only by the engineers but at the same time we are always talking about the technology we are always talking about the um, growth we are always talking about the sophistication and what not but slowly we missed the humanity we missed you no know, we missed slowly we are missing we are missing our nature our indian nature indian culture indian heritage in fact i can say that we are we are forgetting the sustainability point of it anyway creating is always a good thing but keep it in mind that every creation has is to be sustainable and as an engineer how you are going to give us sustainable solutions for the forthcoming futures whatever the technology we are talking about is like it's going to give a sophistication but as an engineer those who are my viewers here please try to understand that whether you can able to contribute anything uh, which is sustainable you you may be even we are using this iot technology here again when you say as an electrical side we are using earlier meter was this thing uh, this meter no even uh, we can used to say in the village um, side sometimes uh, the meter may go reverse side but meter may go past we can put some magnets we can do some kind of uh, things to not to give a correct data this was a earlier meeting a meter but now this has been changed to the smart meters and that way in every tech every field of engineering which is having almost 70 branches in every 70 branches of engineering we can do an iot we can do a wonderful thing to the for the betterment this is the hype cycle what we are looking for uh, this hype cycle is actually taken in 2018 now but now we are in 2020 of course this um, hype cycle is going to be slightly changed here what this hype cycle uh, hype cycle is um, telling you is that about the current technologies the developing technologies for the next more 10 years see for example like uh, smart dust uh, flying autonomous vehicles edge artificial intelligence smart workspace virtual assistance blockchain connected home autonomous driving level 4 mixed reality and what not here see here in, a, in a, almost in 2 to 5 years of time almost we are going to we are going to have a virtual assistance we are going to have a blockchain technology we are have to have a like you no know, 5g technology but after uh, 10 more years definitely we are going to see you know autonomous driving level 4 and you can have a brain computer interface and all this is the hype cycle actually uh, is giving you that how the technology is trending and how the technology is slowly developing and what is going to be the technology in the nearly future. The next, uh, we are talking about IoT. Now, the person who is seeing you, uh, who is there, is you know, the Kevin Ashton. He is the father of IoT Internet of Things. 
he coined the term the internet of things i want to show this fellow uh, and he is you know his dream is now the technology what is iot an internet of things everybody knows and if you google it out we can get, we can get a lot of answers like you no know, uh, connecting in a computer with a communication device with the communication things and with the small sensors doing some signaling things and making an integrated uh, integrated uh, product for a particular purpose it's like you no know, internet of things actually in 2003 when i say that uh, this is the this is the thing like uh, a graph shows between the, the i mean the uh, the link between the world population and the connected device as on date in 2003 we have a 3. million i mean sorry 6.3 billion of population but 500 billion of connected devices at the time and slowly we now in 2015 7.2 and 25 billion in 2020 now we are now we are we are almost you know, 7.6 billion of uh, that's a total world population but the devices connected devices is enormous more than the, the population and you know, this is the current status and future pers- uh, future pro- prospect of uh, iot when i say the world population is like this and how this connected device is going to be see there are more connected device than a people and this is the fast uh, you know, this is in this way in this particular world now we are we are in the fast technology you know, everything we want fast fast food fast you know um, fast service flights fast service transport system and the fast service kitchens and everything uh, one thing only one thing is not possible which is fast is that you know today we are getting married and tomorrow we are going to get a child means it is not impossible even if a technology is there then even if it is also maybe possible i don't know uh, god has to answer for this question um change is the only thing permanent in the world you know every day there is a change and every day there is a change in the technology how i iot works when i say iot iot these are the four different chambers of iot when you put together in a in a in a in a cyclic manner or in a combined manner then we can get an iot components when you say any iot component for any engineering maybe electrical engineering or chemical engineering or aeronautical engineering or what not even agriculture engineering biotechnology even in medical fields there are you no know, sensor devices is the first motion in the initial initial um, that device you no know, which is which is very 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 important for uh, for making an, any physical system uh, to a signal you no know? we need a sensor and then we need a good communications or a connectivity um, we need a good uh, user interface systems and we need a data processing so in that way a sensor uh, from the sensor we need a data processing we need a user interface devices and we need a good connectivity if these four things are integrated together to do any component of iot so when i say sensors you no know, if i can give you like a small examples what you are seeing here is a mobile you no know, everybody is using mobile sometimes so if you if you are doing something in your mobile just you can give us a small handshake like this in the mobile then automatically we can do you no know, we can we can do uh, we can do whatever you want to do because you no know, this is this is happened because of the sensor inside the you no know, inside the device in that way sensor is used for mobile services that is an accelerometer inside the mobile that is giving that kind of you know, if while while doing gaming and all you can able to see that if you want to have a left turn right turn you just take a um, shake like this and automatically it will it will move and that was that is happened only by you know, sensors when you say um, uh, gps smartphones you have a sensor inside and uh, even in camera we have a uh, sensors and likewise when it up for connectivity so earlier we are we are having a lot of connectivities like satellite networking wide area network and uh, even like home area network even state to state uh, national to national networks um, and bluetooth and um, no even low powered wired uh, wide area networks and these are some of the connectivity what we are having right now in the technology and in even in future we are going to have a l you know life fi life fi because all those is now the technology has slowly transferred into um, the fast moving thing called life fi because we know that everybody we might have been studied in the right from the basics in the schooling also light is the fastest thing in the world which travel very fastly 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second in that day um, Uh, now we are going to the moving to the next technology is called you no know, life fight so these are some of the connecting devices or i mean the connecting mediums which make you to do the work very fastly 
So this is the light revolution. So it has been slowly came into existence. Now, now already already is done in this. Almost it has been also uh, it has been almost uh, no implemented to in some uh, laboratory point of view, but not in the commercial product. Um, uh, here I want to show. You no, know, this is the picture. What you are going to see is by you know we are using a light as the communicating device. This light energy is giving uh, a signal. Uh, in that way. Uh, here, see, see the light. Uh, here, from the light energy. This is some of the pictures I want to say that from the light we can we can able to do a communication system. Uh, uh, if you want to observe it more and what is going to be the future technology, just I want to add you one uh, one one video for you for just two minutes. Just watch this video, please. Actually, no. <clears throat> this was the earlier thing what we are doing by through wires. When I go, when I when I use uh, this kind of wires, almost we you know what is what is happening. That's a real thing. Not now we are using it. But when you go for this kind of light, then then see what is going to happen. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, that is just uh, this is, that is an interesting video which shows that you know, with, the, with the use of light, you know, we can able to have, we can able to have take a um, speed. The speed the speed of uh, internet services is almost um, it, it is it is it is rising. In that way, the technology is going, and this is this is only possible with the help of you know, uh, the IoT concepts. Uh, the third one, the next one is data processing. Uh, everywhere, the data. When I say when when a data is collected from a particular uh, a particular sensor to a communication system, it should be processed uh, like a collection of data and preparation of uh, preparation of preparation as well as it should be given as an input and it should be processed based on the requirement and the output should, output will be given and it is stored in the uh, system. For in that way, the data processing is there are a lot of data processing. Um, uh, I mean, no technologies are there. Uh, now the latest technology is like XML processing is the fastest uh, technology that we are using. And when I go for uh, next is user interface. When I say user interface, it's a graphical user interface. It makes uh, the user user to be you know confident and uh, to handle very easily. This is what you are seeing is a front end and there is a back end. We have to write a program and that. So these four different uh, matter parts are very, very important for an IoT. I can give you some of the examples of IoT devices that everybody has to know that about it. Amazon Echo, which is like, you know, Amex, uh, Amazon. Amex, this is the thing that we are, even some people are using it right now. And uh, uh, this is the next one is Agast Doorbell, um, which which helps which helps uh, people, uh, people, that's what they can able to observe the people, those who are waiting outside the home, uh, with the help of the sensor here, it will also sense it. And if a person want to um, give some message, he can talk to this, uh, talk to this, uh, talk to the speaker. 
uh, mic is there provided in the front end i mean the gate side and the people inside the home can understand that who is waiting outside and uh, who is uh, giving the from the voice they can able to understand whether the people is uh, uh, is a stranger or the people is uh, a relative or friend or what not in that way this aghast door bell camera is has been introduced this is because of iot this is one of the iot device similarly we have a aware which is like you no know, temperature control system for a living room and it's a built in memo it's again a, in a, in a, i mean a small automation system with the use of an with this it, it can be operated using mobile within its connected to wifi um, we can operate through mobile uh, with a small living room of all electrical uh, um goods like you know electrical things like fan or ac or tv whatever you want to operate we can make it operate um this is a very handy device you no know? uh, this is possible only by iot when i say canary canary uh, can you see can you able to see the you no know, small uh, uh, what do you call like this parrot or uh, this this one is the uh, this the name is called canary the speciality of this particular bird is uh, it, it has a tendency of observing the emotions of the people if when the people is uh, standing nearby that particular bird that bird can understood the emotional feelings of him when he whether he is nervous whether he is uh, moody whether he is you no know, whether he is in happy mood or is in dull mood he, he can able to understand uh, based on this particular technology and uh, based on this particular thing a technology has been developed uh, named you no know, canary this is like uh, a small uh, iot device which can able to understand the emotional feelings of an every individual and we can act accordingly to that similarly we have um, camberland uh, made act this is again a small uh, small automation system so why i am showing all those this is this in that way technology has taken uh, taken taken uh, fastly and it is it is it is shrinking the life of the um, people and it's um, and in that way uh, we are we are we are we are enjoying the technology uh, technology and still in future there are this going to be you know dramatic change i'll show you some more slides for what is going to happen in the future to in the forthcoming uh, slides and this is a complete architecture of uh, iot when i say iot uh, iot uh, these are some of the devices or physical thing which want to take a signal and uh, uh, this to be ingest to transform and sync uh, using no uh, spring Uh, spring xd spring xd this is again we can use either spring or you can use hyper hypernet or you can use flux it's again a, um, uh, 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 it's again a good technology and uh, this is having a link with the distributed uh, computing called uh, normally spark is used now and uh, this is a big storage device which is having uh, we can use uh, normally now we are using hadoop uh, hdvs like that and um, there is a, like a small catchy like memory is things that we can use now uh mango and uh, you know jms and spark not and this is fast you no know, fast um, data transfer is uh, transfers and uh, we we are using normally now nowadays we are using normally python is the programming language and uh, for development of an iot site and uh, in few of the uh, companies like some technologies they are using again our programming also for building an algorithm uh, for an iot um, iot devices and these are the hardware just we are able to get it in the market right now so this is the market now you can able to see that a single glass which is having an entire thing we can we can listen music we can if you want we can watch we can watch some kind of videos and what not and this almost everybody knows that this is a smart um, watches and smart phones and even there is a smart shoe this shoe that the the the, the speciality of the shoe is that it, it can adjust it can it can also it, um, it can also read the you know the, um, the What, what I want to say, if you want to have a, um, a heels, no, you are able to have a heels. If you want to have a flat structure, you can have a flat structure. It depends upon the walking style and depends upon the terrain where you are walking. It will automatically make an adjustment. Also, it will it will it will measure your health health monitoring also. In that way, the IoT hardware devices have been built, and these are the top most IoT companies now. IoT companies now are emerging companies. Uh, here I have listed some something related to software side. Um, like IBM, Google, Intel, they are the masters, and they are doing wonderful um, technology. And uh, some more uh, uh, core companies are like like Siemens is there. They are in the field. Robert Bosch is again they are in the field. And um, LNT, LNT, Lawson and Tibur, they are in the field. ABB, they are in the field. They are now they are now looking for this kind of you no. Know, um, these all done companies are turned over to 
to concentrate more on the iot areas everywhere uh, even in electric electric vehicle side or in communication side or even in agri side we are slowly transforming our technology to iot iot internet connections when you say iot in internet so i want to give you even in internet side connection sites iot is having a big role the picture what you are showing here is like you no know, uh, uh, like uh, assume that we are in the um, landscaping or earthquake is uh, happening uh, something something may last your internet connectivity may last because uh, if you have a wired system suppose assume that in that wired system if you miss an internet connections some important things may collapse for a for a while or for a period of time and even when you when you when you travel in the flights you no know, normally we will put in uh, flight mode uh, where we lost the connectivity and what not but how this iv iot is taken an initiative to you uh, to solve those problems is like iot in internet connections project loom it is done by a google where what you are seeing the structure is called the you know the, the balloon like structure is called the loom which is designed by the google first time in the world um, how it works actually right normally you know when i say normally this google this this particular loom is having a small uh, powered you know, solar powered uh, sensors here and all communicating small iot devices this is filled with you know a helium gas to you know because it, it is it, it has to fly you know, uh, through the stratosphere in that way it has been designed specially and see here this is like this is the picture which demonstrates you that like, um, suppose uh, if the loom is uh, loom is here right it is about uh, the strategy near strategy about 2000 meters uh, away from the Uh, surface uh, and uh, this balloon sends signals there are if you assume that we are we are having a lot of uh, it is some similarly a small tower replacement in this space uh, something like you can imagine in that way but there is no towers in the ground level because all are smart used to due to earthquake or something like that but this is no this is like floating in the stratosphere uh, it is like operating as a tower so assume you are in the home if you need an internet connections from the loom you can get it because you will have an antenna here you will have an antenna here from the antenna it will directly connect to the loom because it's something like act as a satellite system tower system and then there is a link between tower to tower and what not in such a way that the signal reaches the ground station connect to the local internet provider which provides a service to the network of balloons so a small um, iot device is uh, designed by in google and this is the design procedure actually there is a solar panel setup is setting in the uh, in the loom and it's filled with the helium gas and then ready to launch and here it is launched you know this and it's placed in the stratosphere this is a um, picture what you are going to see and we have an antenna antenna which is on the which is on the top of the roof, top the rooftop of the house and this antenna is connected to the um, this particular loom and it have an internal connections uh, even in the if you have a disaster like thing and you have a connectivity or what not um, that is possible only by you know uh, iot and uh, the the picture on screen what you are seeing in the screen is a loons website uh, this is a loon website if you want to become a member add your profile and grab the job uh, fill your names uh, <coughs> and email id if you are interested in doing business with loon giving feedback to the loon whatever you want just register here and if you want to be a member you can be a member and it's a free member too and uh, what, what the picture actually you know is given here previously before uh, you know, like uh, earlier earlier i before the iot has come before the technology has developed uh, there was a flight uh, crash in 1950 the airliner lands with the 92 skeletons on the board see you know when i say skeletons on the board what is happening actually means without, without technology there is a no there is no technology at the time so they couldn't be able to identify a flight which has been missed and see here the did the plane missing for 35 years of flight through the time gap is it possible means it was it was a thing about earlier but now it is not so but it's not not so it, not only this this is taken uh, for only one flight but we have a lot of flights like you know flight one one for again missing flight m is on the before two years a search continues to find the missing plane still but this is taken over by the iot now even we can able to track the flight right from your mobiles or those who are in the those who are relatives may be in the uh, ground station or they may be in the home or they may be in the work they can able to do a flight tracking system in how much how much attitude it is it is it is no it is flying 
and uh, at what time it is going to reach you know um, everything everything can be um, given as a picture i mean great to view as a videos or the pictures it's help of you no know, iot uh, helps in flight tracking too uh, that is possible only by in iot using automatic departure surveillance process abs this is possible using this technology called uh, automatic dependent surveillance broadcast abs Uh, this is the picture taken using that uh, technology see the particular flight see these are some of the flights which is flying now we are in covid situation you may able to see the flights but this is some taken somewhere um, sometime uh, this is a previous one actually you know this was taken earlier not now immediately see the number of flights even these num- many number of flights are flying and it able to track each and every flight if you click on the flight we can able to it will give a full you know particulars of the flight passengers inside and passenger traveling everything that is only possible in that way iot is um, helping us uh, this is given taken from the if you want even if there is a website called www.flightradar.24.com you can able to visualize these things and uh, this is the same one so this is what uh, for example the uh, using that uh, network uh, you can able to see the flight altitude and what uh, where it is flying uh back from that to where it is going and everything is possible even iot is in emergency cases you can able to students have done so many projects too sometimes when accident has been happened generally they will say that uh, when accident has happened uh, it is it will also inform the um, police people or uh, near uh, ambulance services or near hospitals uh, it will also uh, tell about the uh, uh, tell more information about the spot what happened everything and these are the Uh, this was the advanced technologies of iot's uh, even iot is helping in emergency condition when i say emergency condition i am talking about a women's emergency suppose women's safety then uh, this is the band called women's safety but now it is uh, available in market and that is again a system, virtual system uh, if you have a tap like you no know, if you have a tap like one tap or two double tap it will try to give you an information if you give some five taps or something like that you see it will show the price and everything that is supporting that it will tell you whether you are in emergency or very most uh, uh, thing to be done every information has been done using this virtual thing also this has been came uh, so i what is helping in emergency conditions road accidents and detections and all those areas mm, similarly it is in it is in air also uh, now what we are going to talk about is like future generation of computer with iot so if you, if if Uh, this is going to be the future actually even even in, now we are seeing only this in english movies whether this is there in the market means it is going to it to come uh, which have a virtual no virtual in virtual farm we can able to have a like like keypads and we can do whatever you want to this is like no virtual reality based no brain detections i mean the, the cancer detection this is like one, one of the thing like uh, detection of uh, damages in the nerve cells of the brain is possible using uh, virtual reality and uh, uh, this is possible using iot this is again a future generation of computer with iot is here uh, so uh, using this uh, device called uh, sensometer we can able to have a virtual keypad and we can work with the tablets and what not um, and again this is you no know, peculiar thing which can able to read the mind of the uh, brain i mean mind of the people using brain waves um it it will tell about the emotions of the i mean emotions of the individuals and it is possible and it has been already you know tested at uh, in the research laboratory and uh, this is a future generation of computers with iot you know see this is a pill uh, what is having in his hand if you if you have the pill inside automatically pill, this pill with an iot technology will you know will tell about the Uh, performance of each and every cells for example a patient is um, suffered with cancer it is able to uh, detect the cancer skill cells of uh, cells where it is locating where it is you no know, having in uh, where it is located and what is the condition of the cancer cell and what not this is possible using iot technologies and drone we are already we are very much familiar with that even in corona areas we are having a lot of trending like you know, lots of trending like you no know, when police one is the coming around the here uh, some of the students or some of the people are uh, running around here and there 
in seven some villages they have been you know, afraid of all those things in this you know already focus towards when i say 30 30 31 is going to be i have taken some examples as electrical engineering um within 30 now we have a battery for uh, which has to be service you know, it, it, it will take you know, 30 hours of time to charge uh, just for an um, exaggeration and talking about normally at least 8 hours it need to be completely charged full charge but in future we are going to have a no technology called bracket technology that a particular battery is going to charge within 30 seconds it's full charge no t that is 30 hours and that is 30 seconds in that way no the focus is so the future is moving forward the future is in that way the technology is in that way but there there we are really competent to face these kind of technology or we are doing n number of we are getting you know b degree b degree and even some bsc degrees and whether we are really the uh, fond of these things and really know about these kind of things and again we have to put the, we have to be calm for a moment at least and which is similarly as is charging within 3 seconds and uh, you know salt water to drinking water which is something like something like you know desalination process everywhere uh, this is going to happen in future uh, this is like a graphing do you want to, uh, i want to tell you a small thing here is that uh, with the help of a pencil you no know, uh, when a pencil when a pencil having a graphite inside um, this is a graphite having With the help of a small graphite and with the help of a small, uh, you know, like um, what we call this is a, um, a tape, tape, uh, cello tape, right? With the help of a cello tape, a particular person has demonstrated, he has done a continuous research and continuous process, and finally he found that a real power of graphite. Because when a pencil is having a, a particles of graphite, when it is you no know, powdered in such a way, then if you want, he just want to take. this and you want to separate this uh, powder as and uh, finally separated a small particle nano small particle of graphene which is you no know, weightless and which has very good conductivity from that particular that even this is a nobel you no know, nobel prize uh, award winner um, the future uh, is going to be like that with the help of the graphene they are going to design a uh, flight they are going to design uh, if now if we are using the body of uh, even now fiber as came as the Uh, as a material, now in future is going to be like graphite. Even it can be used in scooters or even uh, caps or helmets or whatever, whatever. Even in dress, dresses, clothes, this graphite material is going to um, take over uh, in the nearly future. Maybe like two plus two thousand thirty. This is going to happen with the graphite because it is very, 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 very thin and weightless, but having you no know, sturdy in nature. And this is going to be the future. You no know, mobile phones. actually uh, using graphite if you see that graphite the user uh, the, the future mobile phone is going to be like this just if you want to have, have, have it as a band and if you want to have a top like this it's going to be a paper model uh, similarly we are going to have a graphite super capacitors graphite super capacitors solar panels using graphite and what not and this is going to be the uh, 2030 technology when you say applications of iot uh, uh, it's for a want of time just to shrink it but everywhere everywhere in every technology we can use you no know, iot in energy conservation transport say social life and entertainment say agriculture or farming home automation smart environment building or smart when i say smart environment automatically we you know the in india has taken initiative called you no know, smart like uh, like like what we call like smart city uh, for the almost 20 different uh, states uh, has been already taken and now the process is going on uh, health and fitness area supply chains logistics and what not see the this is going to be the smart when I, when, I, when when application of iot in the when iot is coming into the existence uh, how it is going to change dramatically the thing before that is means now we are using this now we are seeing this kind of traffic process and this kind of transport system what we are having right now when iot is implemented automatically see the traffic system uh, each vehicle has to communicate to the near vehicle automatically it will it all, always maintain the distance it always uh, um, check out the speed of this vehicle and what this vehicle parking and what not there is no chance of accidents otherwise i can say uh, ch- ch- um, accident the chance of accidents is very very minimum or uh, maybe like 5% or 10% may happen now every day we are facing you know every day when you see a daily is or when you see in some news channels you can able to witness that a lot of accidents are happening when i replace by iot it can be reduced and this is like a shopping mall but we are now we are having a we are we are doing this kind of shopping in future the shopping is going to be virtual uh, right from the home with using a virtual technology virtual reality we can able to witness what is there inside the shop and we can select the product we can able to see the uh, no 
the storage storage we say you know uh, how much pieces are there left and how much pieces are there even everything is possible using iot and this is like an automation automated uh, car now we are doing is kind of car this is going to the future using iot and uh, even in farming side uh, we are using we are doing this kind of farming now when i use iot the farming is going to be like this mm, and when i say you know in hospital side or uh, healthcare uh, this is the thing what we are using now this is normal icu unit but uh, that uh, that we are seeing now and this is going to be the mass mm, i mean uh, the technology oriented uh, uh, icu unit and even in classrooms uh, th now this now we are examining actually we are, we are discussing also um, earlier this was the classroom section now the classroom section is like this and future it's going to be a real virtual classroom uh, who knows god will in those because technology is fastly developing the covid from in covid situation i hope we all realized this technology transfer am i right and um, Uh, earlier this was the petrol filling system and after iot is used this will be the petrol filling system, automatic petrol filling system and uh, um, when this iot is slowly when when you, when you go on increasing the technology when are so many products of iot has been done then we can make a smart city very easily that these are the some of the uh, cities i have taken in tamil nadu chennai coimbatore dindigal and so on so but now i'm taking some coimbatore as example because i am in coimbatore Just I'm taking point to slowly and changing into smart city. Uh, I want to show you a small, you know, um, video here how it works actually. How IoT is working in smart city. Uh, these are the some of these are the cities has been selected in India as a smart cities. Now the process has already started since I'm in Coimbatore. Um, uh, just I want to uh, highlight it here as a Coimbatore, but everywhere this has been already started. Uh, please watch the video for two minutes. we can we can make use of this particular iot technologies and uh, now we are slowly moving towards the technology and every indian state has been slowly transferring i mean there are some locations have been selected as a samples in future maybe india is going to be the smart you know, country itself mm. the earlier earlier no actually this is but basically no iot when you say iot we can i can say m to m m to m m to m there are four m to m concepts when you say first m to m is like you no know, man to man that was the earlier thing which we are already we are practicing now uh, next one is like man to machine or machine to man m to m concepts and now we are in uh, third m to m is called you know machine to machine maybe future we don't know if the technology is uh, uh, going on developing maybe machine to god who knows when i say god god means like something like nature which is invisible which is beyond our control we we can able to we are, we are trying to control the nature also that's why i'm just adding that future may be like no mission to god uh, who knows the technology is driving in that uh, that phase we are throwing a uh, fast technology and driving a fast technology without talking thinking about sustainability in the part this is the picture you know actually in coimbatore we have a uh, automatic this is like no machine i say machine to man interface 
the robot system that is a robot hotel in Pimato, which is having uh, which take order automatically to supply the things uh, to the customer uh, this is one of the live example for uh, no iot man to machine contact uh, this is um, usage of iot in a snake robot normally this kind of uh, thing is used in you no know, defense purposes uh, normally you know, for high terrace buildings to put it able to you want to have a watch um, normally the people used to send this particular uh, snake robot to the pipeline water line or what not it is slowly uh, go inside the pipeline and try to you know, monitor what is happening and uh, take the image and photographs and even it will sense uh, the speech or the, it, will it will record the voice uh, recordings also uh, this even you can able to see this kind of snake robots even in a film called endiren if that way the technology has been developed now it is already in use in in defense equipment sites um even now that the sensor has taken you no know, sensor is even has been using cow uh, sensor even every cow uh, normally this is a shoot taken in uh, i normally this is using new zealand and denmark you know, the world of iot even cow will be connected and monitored sensor are implanted in the ears of the cattle so here there is a sensor um, this allows the farmers to monitor the cows uh, while it is you no know, while it is going for uh, uh, when, uh, when he is in the when the, when the cow is in the remote location or maybe the farmer in the house are he can able to monitor what uh, the cow is doing and what not it can able to view the health um, of the cow and uh, how much it is going to supply milk and what not and so everything can be possible uh, using iot and this is a project has been already implemented successfully so so, so far we are talking about the um, goodness and you know the, the merits of uh, iot of course it is very happy to hear that we are now we are um, Uh, we are in the advanced technology. We are, you know, we are happily enjoying the technology. But on the other side, uh, what happens really? This is really an experiment which happened really. The robot stop. Uh, and actually, Facebook has been. In, okay, Facebook tried this, and Facebook shut off all those things. What happened is um, they created a small robot called you know, Alice and Bob. Uh, these two machines actually. Uh, they co they coded this particular uh, machines in such a way that to 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 support the human being. but what happens actually is sometimes later this particular robot is interacting to each in its own language which doesn't which couldn't be able to interpret a uh, human being couldn't be interpret so that that happened a big collapse after two robots begin to speak in their own language only they can understand then there happened a big collapse uh, and this is again the negative side of um, uh, iot when this happens automatically then we have to enter into the cyber security concepts so for what we discussed is about an iot technology and now we are going to talk about a cyber security why uh, how this cyber security is going to take a role here uh, now we are in uh, covid situations everybody knows that uh, earlier we have only you know um, only the well, only we have offices will go and work in the offices where we have a systems where we have a sophisticated um, sensors and what not um, except uh, some of the you know some of the of home or some of the uh, big shops they have iot based uh, iot based devices in the homes uh, but now what happens with this corona has uh, uh, teach that every home is an office now right because we are a work at home concept so every home is an office everybody is working at the home and even there is that can be a attack to a particular home because home is office now mm, so we have to be very careful about because all those iot the technology are and going to take place in the you know in this space using a communication system using internet devices when the, when one who is good and good enough in software and um, he knows uh, he knows abis of the system then he can he can, he can he can intrude into the system he can collapse the entire process of the system so that is must and mandatory for every individual to focus on cyber security when is cyber security there are four uh, five major objectives one it should have a confidential confidentiality integrity it should have a availability it should have a authentication and it should is non repudiation these are the five different you know objects um, for each and every cyber security aspects when you say cyber security there are a lot of you know, more of uh, issues there are a lot of a lot of more of issues can happen this uh, normally you may have like a phishing link this is one method that you know, And now you can able even people may everybody is using mobiles right now and uh, you know that uh, you will have you sometimes you may have received a 
text message like no i'm going to give you our uh, yeah big uh, apple uh, iphone for rupees 1 uh, automatically you know the enthusiasm in mean, each and everybody will automatically come out and we'll just try to pick it and click it on and to get the you no know, happy mobile phone i7 for rupees 1 and sometimes they will give 100 kg of rice for rupees 1 if you have a lot of message like this if you click on the message then that's finished off because you are under arrest or you were particular uh, device would be taken uh, care by the third party which is in the uh, remote area so this is this kind of attack is called you no know, phishing attack okay, uh, sending a text message or a link uh, and if you are just uh, clicking on that automatically you are surrendered to the third party one who is monitoring there in the next side when you say attacks there are different types of attacks but the first one is like you no know, phishing attack the next one is called the passive attacks when you say passive attack mm, and uh, this is an attack like um, uh, see for example i want to uh, give you as an example here uh, bob and alice are the persons they want to communicate to each other uh, bob want to communicate to alice uh, through internet uh, but in the middle man here uh, can able to read the content or the message of bob or alice only he can read whatever he is sending he can read and uh, these kind of attacks is called an positive attacks uh, sorry uh, passive attacks and this is like an active attack what happen is that um, again there is a sender that is a receiver the sender is sending a message to the receiver but a person in the middle side or a man in the middle like you can say like this he can able to he can able to receive the message and he can modify the message and can send it in another way this is called active attack in previously he cannot able to modify but here you can able to modify the message and this kind of attack is called like active attack and uh, this is like uh, botnets um, i can able to visualize you when you if you see you know ender frame uh, there is one robo which can which will produce uh, n number of robots by himself because it's self programmed uh, like this in that way uh, here uh, a small uh, software has been uh, is a software has built And, and that particular software in later uh, it will it will it will it will give a lot of um, other patches of uh, software by themselves and entirely it will slowly grab to the system and it slowly try to you know stop the process entire process or finally it will make the it will even it may shut down the entire process or it may even corrupt anything so this kind of uh, technology is called you know, botnet technology or spot like cyber attacks the next one is called uh, sniffing attack Uh, this is again in between two persons that the middle man can just hear what you are talking about and what you are sending and everything is possible and next what is um, it is called man in the middle attack normally uh, uh, normally this is no um, again this is the they use this kind of technology it depends upon the people's desire and the people is very much desire to do something uh, easily and if you want to have anything without paying money then these kind of people will automatically come inside they will automatically they have a data analytics behind the screen and they will try to pull out a particular persons and automatically they will uh, they know your desire actually they will because they have a data analytics and they will they will give a type of message or something they will, they will come into um, intrusion and they will raise your desire automatically you will be uh, you will be automatically affected and this case is called like the man in the middle uh, in between two there will be a third man You will take all your confidential data um, by raising your desire and whatnot. And uh, this is called no uh, spoofing. When I say spoofing, and uh, again, this is the case for no when a user is there and he is a, a second person. If you want to uh, receive the, you are going to give a message or you are going to give anything to the second party. The attacker. This is a third party attacker who is sitting somewhere else. Uh, you are sending say kind of messages via a bluetooth device or what not uh, you are going to give a uh, messages like this and he is going to give mix some other uh, messages and finally these two are mixed and uh, this particular uh, third person will not receive the actual one but instead he will receive the mixture of both and he will be getting confused and this kind of attack is called no spoofing attack otherwise the the information what he received is a perfect information from the first party to the second party but the third party is interfering that whole system is collapsed uh, this is like denial of service as a dos attack um, we make a, for example if you example like direct like this you no know, if you want to if you want the process control system you want to stop a particular process by stopping a motor by like sending a uh, by sending a signal to a particular motor which is running the particular drive and that means so just giving in the command 
uh, the third one to enter into, uh, into the system and he can have a time delay of a particular signal so that the motor will not stop at the time what you want to stop but instead it will stop sometimes later or even it will collapse the uh, uh, process and uh, uh, the next what you are here see here is called right now um, the is another 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 type of uh, technology where it has uh, no multiple attacks at a particular time what this particular attack will do uh, this is normally uh, this is normally done in a group of people in a particular uh, uh, areas we call it as in like zombies no um, uh, he will just try to confuse all those uh, people in and around he will try to confuse everybody else and he want to do what he wants actually by confusing all your when you are finding the solution for your confusion he will slightly uh, enter into the system and he will uh, pick up what he wants actually this is kind of uh, attack is called a yeah, zombies attack and um, uh, when i say iot algorithm uh, when i used iot when you have a pakka security system i am having a protective password and what not but still there is a possibility for uh, hacking uh, is possible and um, i'll tell you the um, one case study here for example uh, let us take a facebook so facebook is highly encrypted we have a protective concept for example the, somebody is want to intrude into your particular facebook account because for example say the so he is a male 18 and he is having his email id and some sometimes this because this particular password is not in the text format but this is in the uh, encrypted format uh, it, it is it is encrypted format it will be automatically stored the person can Uh, come inside and he can check and he can give a password. He can make a trial on password. And uh, what actually happens is that this is the password actually given by the particular person. This particular password is changed into MD by hashing technology, and this will be encrypted like this. No, and uh, this is the encrypted version of this particular password. And this is the actual language, uh, actual thing which is actually stored here normally. Even a person when uh, going much deep into that, and he is just trying to catch all those things using like um, uh, there are some dictionary attacks. You know, we have a lot of dictionaries. In, uh, from the dictionary, if you are able to pick up all those things, and even if you are trying it that level, automatically he can enter into the system, uh, but but the Facebook will not open. The reason why is that because it is again I told you there is a technology called. Um, uh, Uh, salt technology that i will give in the next slide this is because uh, that is possible only for example i can tell you like this right uh, if you if you give a password like this it will give a code like this but instead next time if you go inside this one if you copy this and if you put it here and uh, definitely it will not give the original password as a uh, test 1 to 3 4 5 6 because this is one side uh, this is one way Uh, uh, options. We cannot do it. Reverse it. This can be done like this, but this cannot be done like. Uh, this can be reverse like this. One, two, three, six, like like one. So the particular person who want to enter cannot able to enter inside. And uh, this is app. This is possible only. You know, uh, next uh, this is possible like this because we have a uh, how we are able to uh, take all those uh, uh, passwords are from the rainbow table. This is rainbow table. So like as I told, this is like a dictionary uh, already there in the website. Uh, so who knows the technology? They will go inside and they get the table. For every password, we what we are typing, it will try to create and it, that is a dictionary. If if you want to go on the go to the website, if you just catch it and um, if you want, you can do it. But how to come out of this one is that like as I told, like no F and two P. This is called uh, salting algorithm. For example, uh, test one, two, three, four, five, six is the actual password by the person who is giving for his um, password account. I mean Facebook account. No. Uh, the programmer in the Facebook site, the programmer the, who, who is who is who is a master controller, he just add an algorithm called sorting algorithm. That in this test one two three four five six he can add somewhere else like uh, if to uh, this, this is a type of coding called coding called sorting algorithm coding, which is included in and around where uh, included into the original passwords that it is stored. What is actually doing is that, uh, for example, uh, how uh, how I can say that this algorithm is is a perfect algorithm because assume that we are uh, we are cooking, two persons are cooking in a particular uh, area. One person is adding some uh, some salt to the sambar that he is cooking for, and the next person uh, nearby is is going to add the salt uh, for the same sambar. I mean, he is cooking separately. He is going to add the uh, 
salt with the same sambar. Uh, so maybe the taste may be uh, almost similar, but we cannot say that the both persons are added a particular amount of salt to the um, sambar vodka they are preferred. There may be at least a, a minor uh, amount of uh, difference in the salts may be possible. In that way, this salting agulsum will work. Okay. But how to mitigate? I mean, I'm talking about the cyber uh, uh, security. So, uh, these are some of the issues I told you, like you know, uh, phishing link and uh, botnets and whatnot. How to reduce these kind of uh, attacks, actually. So for that, we should have, we should follow these particular uh, things, like hardening of a system. Uh, hardening, when I say hardening, making into different, different layers uh, of programs. And each and every layer used to be, strong. for example, if you want to enter into a, uh, suppose you want to enter into a particular house, if the house is having n number of gates, then it's very hard for you to break each and every gate and enter into the house. In that way, if the house is having a single door, you can easily uh, break it out and you'll go enter into the house, you can bring it out, uh, whatever you want. In that way, hardening is one of the things which is having n number of adults in terms of software techniques. And you need to give access control only to the particular person. Access control should not be, should be unique or it should not be common to all. Our next one is like you no know, intrusions. When I say intrusions, you have to detect the intrusions as well as you have to prevent the intrusions. And we have to have the patch management system. Uh, when, and we have to control on electronics as well as physical parameters, application whistling, and you have to defense in the these are the common methodology that we are using right now for the mitigation purposes. Mm, and next one is like you no know, cyber security standards. When I say cyber security, because why this particular cyber security is not evolved uh, that much, we are not uh, that much, you know, it's not uh, in the system actually because of it has some issues. Like we have to fix some standards uh, for anything to come out and when it be reached to the public. That way, this NASTP, set, when I say set, uh, NACC. These are the standard uh, standards of cybersecurity. These are cybersecurity standards. Set up. These people have to set a certain rules and regulations, and uh, this to be this to be you know get approved by the uh, people and then they to come into existence. Until then, this particular cybersecurity things will not uh, will not uh, will not be you know in the market very uh, for the user point of view. As far as the toys having, when you don't communicate, you need some sort of regulation body like try. Similarly, when a, if you want to have a cyber security standards, we need some kind of a, a regulatory body. This is these are some of the regulatory body are taking care of these things, and soon we'll have a certain standards for cyber security, and it will be used uh, by the public uh, very soon. Uh, how to implement these kind of standards? Uh, when I say standards, the, the, the standards are working on this particular point of view, like network partitioning. They want to partition the each and every network so that the security can be raised. Hardening of the host, uh, centralized authentication system, uh, and they have to go give some kind of audit trials, secure code practices, and protected communications. Um, these are the implementations of security standards. And uh, when this is uh, this is the process of uh, security standards. And uh, uh, these are some of the pictures I want to show you that you know. IoT is used in agricultural engineering for farming, where we have a type of different types of sensors located in different places, and we can be able to make a control on that. Even in biomedical point of view, in the heart, we have a pacemaker system where this particular pacemaker system is controlled uh, using uh, IoT device. In mechanical and in aeronautical, uh, we have IoT. In electrical and advanced engineering, we have a smart car, which is going to be in the future now, drones and whatnot. And, uh, I hope I am at the end of the session. So Internet of Things is the only tip of an iceberg. What you are seeing, what I have given is just an introduction now, outline of IoT, but I'm not, that is much more in the deep sea, what you are seeing like that. It, it's, it's like an ocean. We are, it is, something is invisible. We have to come out and we have to um, make yourself to be, you know, uh, to, if you want to know the abyss of system, then you have to be a consistent, and it should be sustainable too. Uh, how many steps have you walked today? Walk with us. We we'll help you a lot in the nearly future. Welcome to the future 2030 project. I hope I have completed my uh, uh, session. Thank you Thank for you, your sir. relation.
thank you sir 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 speech on iot sir it is my brain storm very every slides were very new for the participants new information so can i take up the question sir yes sir yes sir please yes sir Sir, Avnesh Kumar has asked, uh, "It is possible to charge a vehicle in running status, yes. so that we can save more time during uh, charging any vehicles?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a trial now uh, taken by ABB. Uh, but you no, know, it is it is highly uh, impossible to run with, uh, charge completely for a particular vehicle. We have we have we have issues in implementation point of view, but that is a trial done by ABB system. In even if you if you go to Bangalore, we can able to visualize that um, the test uh, thing, uh, which has been already in uh, research. But right now there is a process on um, fast charging of vehicles within three seconds. Uh, three seconds within three seconds we can able to charge the entire vehicle. Uh, as I, as he was uh, expecting that. During running, and uh, if you want to stop, you are not going to stop the vehicle for the la uh, for so many much uh, so much am amount of hours. We are going to just stop for three minutes or maximum five minutes. It's like a tea break where we can have a good charging. Um, that yeah. kind of uh, impregnation is not possible right now. They okay, are saying it's you. not trial. It's not trial. Thank you, sir. Yes, we have to the losses. We got to win the losses. Thank you, sir. Our another candidate has asked. Uh, do you trust iot applications in terms of implemented security security uh, regarding security uh, that's what i am talking about uh, it's highly uh, 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 right now right now right now that is no pakka security system has been implemented uh, for all the iot devices is coming out as a product um yeah, that, that is that is, a, that is there are the people very you know very good in technology like uh, hackers when they say hackers sometimes maybe ethical or sometimes maybe unethical because ethical people are not going to do something but unethical people they can enter into this uh, enter by they can enter into the system so we cannot give 100% security when they say cyber security because as i told at the end of the uh, thing that because there is no regulatory body formed right now as far as in india uh, to took over all those things to take charge of all those things At this point of view, I can say all the IoT devices are not perfectly uh, secure. Um, we can able to say no one. Okay, sir. Uh, are you okay? Ah, uh, okay, sir. Thank you. Yes. So another question from the same candidate: uh, difference between IoT and cyber physical systems, CPS. Uh, cyber cyber physical system means it's a it's a it's a pakka network actually. Where we have uh, only the sensor point of view, a cyber physical system. When I say, for example, let us take now uh, EB, uh, like like a power station or uh, uh, a power station or a ground station or whatnot, where we have a type of uh, sensors. Uh, only the sensors and using uh, from the sensor, uh, we can able to communicate and. Uh, The, the particular physical thing what you are looking for is called like you know, cyber physical system. When you say IoT, it is a com it is a combination of all four different parameters which I was talking about. Okay, sir. So another question from the same candidate: uh, What will be the impact of uh, IoT on crises such as COVID nineteen? Uh, uh, we can see in two different uh, thing. One, no. Um, I was IoT is uh, helping in uh, for the mankind, particularly in point of COVID situations, uh, because you know for the spread of this, we are we are suffering from this pandemic for the last uh, three four months, particularly as far as in India is concerned. Um, on the other side, on the other side, when there is a when there is a development, fast development, definitely it is going to be a big issue for a human, because. For any technology is taking place, we are not uh, very much thinking of sustainability. We are only thinking about uh, sophistication. So, uh, for a COVID point of time, it may be a good replacement, uh, but it is not sustainable. Thank you, sir. So another uh, same question from the same candidate: How uh, artificial intelligence plays a vital role in uh, uh, 
uh, aerospace domain. Uh, I'm sorry, you know, the, uh, as far, I, I'm I'm from the electrical side. I I'm, I, I doesn't know something about this artificial intelligence. I'm just uh, not only I'm taking, uh, uh, I'm just stepping inside the artificial intelligence, particularly in terms of aeronautical side. I'm I'm not having that much particular uh, answer to uh, say him. Maybe he may be he has to look after to his professor like. Somebody okay, sir, okay. okay thank you thank you sir thank you another question from preet kumar uh, privacy issues and also leads to the question who will control the iot if there is only one company that mm -hmm. would potentially lead to monopoly hurting customers and other companies if there are multiple companies that are given access to the information acquired ah, yeah, understood the question actually that, yes, that is not the problem is that i told you uh, access control should be unique. If the access control is multiple, then that will be a problem. And that is what that is what the regulatory body is planning to have a system and they will have a good regulation. It, it should be published actually. It is not in, uh, now only they are taking uh, so, so many case studies uh, from even Ukraine, Ukraine uh, power, power station blast and everything. So many cases around the world and even in India, and they are forming a regulatory body. But uh, as far as now, uh, we can, it should be like unique access control. If you have a unique access control and uh, you can able to achieve this, if you have a multiple, then definitely there will be inclusion of uh, third party. Thank you, sir. Uh, about the Cantry device, uh, how it is able to understand human emotions like that bird? Uh, that is what uh, we can able to have. A, we, you might have to hear about the project, like uh, that is a project which can able to read the mind of the people, like, you know, like, uh, by uh, observing the alpha, beta, gamma rays of a particular patient, I mean patient, um, from the from the absorption we can do some kind of uh, analytics. That is already it is there actually uh, in coma coma patients that is helping some uh, physically challenged person. That is it is on trial now. Actually, um, there are small small sensors which has been placed and they will absorb the alpha, beta, gamma rays of a particular uh, uh, particular patient, and based on the Based on that, and uh, it was it is trained in such a way that uh, if a patient is uh, moving, feeling like this, he has to give command like this. If a patient is feeling like this, he has to give command like this. In that way, but that is taken by the and that uh, uh, that bird which I was uh, telling you. But that, that that is the bird is a special bird. Um, you, if you want, to just Google it out. It will be no. It is it's like something like a miracle. But from that particular bird concept, they just tried it with, uh, by placing different sensors. You know, location and the body emotions temperature of a human body if you are in happy mood you will have a, a different temperature if you are in a, a, a tough mood you will have a different temperature and based on uh, your iris movements everything a lot of things are a lot of sensors inside and we try to collect the data and uh, they will give the emotions control there are thank some emotion control projects already it is successful okay so thank you sir from the other question uh, harish kumar from harish kumar uh, can we implement uh, the IoT in protection and manufacturing industry? Yeah, it is already done in some kind of textile factories. Now it has been implemented in so many textile factories. Protection that is going to the future. Actually, our industrial 4.0 revolution is going to tell you that it's completely taken over take by IoT. What basically IoT is? We need a sensor. That physical parameter is to be um, is to be taken out. As a signals, and those signals used to be data processed, and uh, some kind of command used to be given via internet. And uh, uh, based on this uh, output and the uh, input, we have to interact. We have to make a control. Uh, highly in, in in manufacturing sector, processing sectors, chemical processing, even manufacturing for every branch of definitely there is a chance for uh, replacement of IoT in the early future. Okay, sir. Thanks, sir. From the candidate Akshaya, the researchers in IoT increases its pro uh, proportionality increases of risk of uh, security, misusing the technology and also increases rapidly. Is there any possibility to reduce the act of misusing? 100% it is, it is possible. 100% right now, 100% possible. But still, there is a cyber security police officials, they are taking that up. Now, uh, now these police officials or cyber security infrastructure, I mean, the team is working for the, only for the no like type of a bank robbery or uh, a human being uh, when you know, in particular human is struggling in whatnot, like theft, so and so. 
they are not concentrating on particular industrial process and uh, otherwise no why can't you you, you have witnessed a attack called ransomware attack for certain computers no future uh, earlier uh, Uh, we may have heard about one uh, long time back a uh, total satin computer has been no uh, attack uh, every system has been blocked and ransom attacks done in that Thank way you, in that way in that way the security aspects is not 100% fulfilled as far as now but still they are taking so many initiatives based on the case studies and once if the regulatory body for all those things has been framed i hope slowly we can give uh, we can we can we can give a, a solution for all kind of security aspects yes sir uh, another uh, question from the preet kumar candidate the automation of iot will have a devastating impact on employment prospects of less educated educated workers and we are already are witnessing jobs using lost to automate machines such as check checkout line in supermarkets and even atms so what poor people will do the future world with formal educations so employment pro- product of course of course uh, this is this is really you know this is even in my mind when everything is taken over by technology then who is going to support the human being um, but but we have to we have to accept the change always always no um earlier uh, we got we got see, see our ancestors or our fathers uh, what they are done and what we are doing because we, we are moving with the fast technology and we got adapt to the technology that's it one who is no uh, one who is good enough um, one who is having the stuff uh, definitely he will be in the market one who is not having stuff he will have to do some marketing has to see some other way uh, but the uh, changes are always there it is inevitable and we have to accept the change on the other side uh, Uh, whatever may be that uh, every every machine is taken replaced by a human but uh, i can say only one thing nothing is possible uh, without human brains so um, always humans are there then we'll have a separate or another route to have a job or uh, uh, what not that's what i told in the initial talk itself uh, instead of talking about these kind of technologies we are doing this that everywhere it's uh, sophistication and what not we are not uh, thinking about the sustainability given that's what this sdg goals is also talking about uh, every engineer has to think about in that way that the sustainability of any create creativity if if there is the uh, if, if you if you think in that way if you create a sustainable uh, product then automatically there will be a chance for every human being to be in touch it may be a employment pro- employability or it may be finance or it may be anything but any technology which is taking place or which is transferring in the life livelihood or the nature of human living styles we have to accept that thank you sir uh, another question from srivas it is possible to fly a flight using battery in future sir Uh, using battery in means that now there is a flight like no solar flights now we have it's already in trial uh, actually there is a solar flight which it has uh, the four or um, plates are already uh, uh, attached or embedded on the, the, the I mean the wings of the flights um, from the solar it is have it is again stored um, maybe in future there are like you know paper batteries and there are a lot of uh, battery uh, researches battery conservation management research is going on different replacements of battery even iron iron battery now we might have heard about lithium lithium ion battery we are heard about you now uh, we are using now lithium ion and nickel cadmium batteries as well batteries now maybe in future there is a battery called iron iron battery and iiac has been taken initiative they are doing this and they have successfully uh, done that is uh, it, it will last for more than 400 you know uh, 400 years a single battery which is uh, which can last for 400 years for a continuous uh, no charging and discharge in that way there is a different um, research is going on maybe as uh, he is asking for uh, maybe in future uh, like if you if you are doing wonder research in the battery areas uh, it is there is a possibility but still it has to support by another any source like solar or any like the natural resources or uh, uh, renewable sources Yes, sir. Thank you. He yeah, asked for a flight, sir. Can we use in flight? I'm not uh, talking about flight. That's what I mean. When I when I say oh. flight, I know again battery has to. We have to think about no the weight of the battery. 
because already it is it is it is carrying its own weight and then the passenger weight and the groups and then with the if you are adding more batteries to the because it's a big engine has to take more thrust and power again it's a, again it is added weight for the flight that's what i'm saying if you do some kind of a battery researches as far as like iron iron battery paper batteries as is to come if there is very if the if it is having long lasting charging hours or something it is really possible for uh, uh, really possible to do that kind of uh, battery based uh, thank you sir also. thank you thank you sir uh, another question from aditya sharma can you name any online learning platform where we can learn about iot like certification courses i will share you the links uh, uh, after this i have a lot of links uh, blogs which has been all those things what i have taken is again from the links and from my experience and my uh, with the help of my colleagues uh, no i want to uh, they also given some inputs i will share you all those links uh at the end of this month so that you can share with all the people yes sir. sharu uh, mati uh, candidate uh, was asking iot has many advantage but i uh, would it it have impact on gene evolution of living beings gene evolution of living beings gene evolution yes sir something related to the medical am i right yes sir yes sir from a biological aspect uh, that's what i told you in one slide the when i say biological aspect i am not i am not much more uh, good enough in biology the cell or what and those things but uh, though that is a i told you one that is a you know uh, the small um, capsules which i have shown there uh, that's an it's i want to build a capsule which if you take inside automatically you try to find the uh, cancer cells the affected affected cancer cells of the human body it is possible it is there in the even in the biological field When you say agriculture, the agriculture field, we can able to identify the uh, uh, what is it? Identify the uh, uh, I mean infected areas of the plants by the uh, by the by some insects or worms or whatnot. It's highly uh, possible in that area. I don't know how much it is uh, how much it is uh, it is playing a role in terms of uh, in terms of pure biology or biology, but but that is that is um, impact of IoT in every field, even in biotechnology. uh but i'm not having that much uh, perfect content about that thing okay oh, thank you thank you another candidate punita is asked it affects iot may affects the health of a uh, human sir if it is uh, used wisely widely in the future oh, no no that, that it, is, it is it is done in that way like using organic uh, materials for example i can say if uh, now we are using face makers and now we are using a lot of uh, surgical things uh, even um, for example if you do operation if you put a plate inside that it is not going to give harm to any human beings in that way it will take it will take it will take energy from the body itself from the body heat it will take energy and it will give continuous uh, it is not going to give any harm to at all because the, the materials will be an organic it should we have a, it should it should adapt to the human being in that way the medical science has done a big uh, research on it. Another candidate, uh, Sai, he has asked that uh, due to is IoT people are losing their security due to cyber crimes. Recently, some users have come that the Zoom contacts have been kept in the black market for sale. Zoom using Zoom is safe or not? Not only, really, you know, that's not only really Zoom or everything which is now which is for free. Uh, even if you uh, for free, what the water may be for free, the free data be when it is when it is connected to the internet. then we have to take the preventive measures uh, even uh, uh, actually you know even I, i we came to know that at the time of you know once this corona this covid situation started up every education institutions and everybody has started with using zoom meeting and there was a means that the zoom is not that much uh, um, it's not perfect one we have uh, we have threats in that so many things has came but even in zoom if you do such kind of settings automatically we can able to come out we can able to secure ourselves But beyond that, it is not everything is not in our control. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Another candidate has asked uh, a recent incident happened in Vizag, the leakage. Uh, so a lot of them were affected. How IoT helps to overcome such inges incidents? Uh, it is not IoT placed plant. I think first of all, you know, if you if you do if you do IoT if you, if you do IoT there automatically the sensor is going to inform you in well in advance. We are going to have the system. It, it is going to have everything automatic uh, process, 
but that is that is not with the iot if if iot is implemented sometimes it may, uh, it, may, it may it may be taken in a positive way sometimes we can able to know uh, we can able to protect uh, we can able to know the protect the lively uh, lively goods of some human beings if it is implemented with iot okay yes sir thank you thank you sir uh, uh, samuel has asked uh, Li-Fi technology first introduced in 2011 March is almost nine years ago. When will our Indians get on experience of it, sir? Hands-on experience, experience of it. It's a good, uh, actually, it's a good and interesting question. Uh, always know we used to say, but I should not say this. In the, we, 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 are Indian, we Indian are always you know, doing fast and everything, but there are a lot of, a uh, lot of you know. Uh, political issues behind that, and uh, there are political things. Like, there are so many, uh, so many things we have to cross because anyway, some technology is coming into India. First, we need you no, know, we need to accept that, and we need a uh, sufficient funds for that. We need and um, we need to um, educate to the system, uh, to the people. A lot of uh, supply, so there are supply chain system is there to follow for it coming for any any kind of new technologies coming into India. So it doesn't know that no. Uh, first, first of all, we are talking about only you know two uh, G systems, later three G systems. Now it is four G. Even it is going to five G is going to come up very soon. Similarly, India, India, India means every every initiative, everybody has to take an initiative. Particularly, on, this is on the uh, next side of uh, big shots and political side. They have to give an answer for this. Thank you, sir. Uh, the Vikram, another candidate, asked. Uh, it is true by installing a fishy filter on. Uh, Email application, we can protect ourselves. Oh, yes, possible. Okay, sir. thank you, thank you. And uh, Sai Dharan has asked how data science and data management are helpful for engineers. That is going to the nearly future, actually. <laughs> so, because we for, for any any kind of any kind of no any kind of process or any kind of automation. Necessary. If any artificial intelligence, the computer has to take out the uh, is going to take take out the uh, uh, human. I mean, it's going to replace by human. Then it needs some kind of analytics. It has to take some decision based on some analytics, based on the data stored, uh, based on the requirement and what that. So in that way, everywhere, if computer has to be, if, if anything is to be automated, we need a data analytics on that. We need to collect some data based on the data only. We can do we can do automatic. Uh, Uh, judgment or automatic uh, um, what is it automatic uh, signal in that way automatic it is it is very very important and uh, need of the art for the automation to be done uh, data analytics and data processing is must and mandatory yes sir thank you sir uh, another candidate indra has asked uh, difference between wireless sensor network and iot networks uh, iot network And uh, IoT network means you no. Know, when I say IoT, wireless is wireless is the communication system actually. When, when, when IoT means uh, it, it should have it should connect a device or it should connect um, a system with an internet. When internet device may be wired or wireless. But what what will happen in that particular point of uh, thing means only in terms of speed actually. Uh, if it is wired, the wired system, then automatically we will have a we have we, we have to take care of the speeds, a mismatch, and whatnot. And it is a defined again big design in the process area. If you have a, a Wi-Fi and it's it again about this, uh, it again about it will have high speed. Then at the end you have to do a process in the selection of processes and whatnot. But process wise, whether it uh, any any device is to connect to the internet and to the computer, uh, both are same. This is only the communicating. Point of view, either it should be wired or it should be wired. Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for a brief uh, answering all the questions of the participants. Because uh, uh, clearly, uh, I think uh, everybody got the answer what they asked in the chat box. So, uh, yes, thank sir. you very much, sir, for your uh, yeah. uh, knowledge throwing uh, uh, light throwing on uh, IoT concepts, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, uh, thank you, thank you, Prakash and uh, our uh, Dr. Suresh sir. So I think it was a uh, very like I think. Hello.
I think a couple, a couple of days, I think you uh, made the presentations very well. And uh, the presentations, what you have given, that itself shows, I think, uh, QA session itself, it has gone almost 30 minutes. Many questions have been poured up uh, by our students. Definitely, that itself has given the uh, overall um, uh, appreciation for your uh, session. I think, uh, uh, thank you so much, uh, since all we are all connected with the wireless technology. And this topic is very, very need of the hour, definitely, because everybody is involved uh, without, like, uh, do's or don'ts. They are part of our uh, session, like uh, this IoT as well as uh, wireless technology, everything. So a small mobile phone which connects globally. So that is what we are seeing it today. And everybody is connected from various parts of our country. And they got very abundant knowledge. And definitely, I think you have given an insight about this IoT uh, as the initial uh, presentation. And you have got to get in, like you have taken inside the cyber security and close up with standards. So definitely, I think. Uh, the multidisciplinary students who are there inside, they got a very like a, a thorough knowledge, we can say that as a, a introduction part of IOTs and cybersecurity. I think uh, every students, I think they would have been installed so many softwares and uh, many things in their mobile phones, laptop. I think it is the right time. I think they have to check uh, which is required and which is not required because cybersecurity without knowing us, everything is being corrupted from somebody. We may not know who is that. So definitely, as our uh, Suresh has given a lots of views, and uh, tomorrow the world is going to see IoT in very big uh, a changeover. That's what after this COVID, this uh, IoT 4.0, big data analytics, those things are going to be like a, a tremendous change, including robotics and uh, uh, disruptive technology. Once again, I thank you uh, for uh, from the organizing committee of this uh, summer internship organized by IEA and USA Go Solution for our speaker of the day, uh, Dr. S. Suresh. So may I invite our uh, uh, Dr. Bala Murugan to just uh, felicitate uh, our speaker by your words. Uh, Gokul. Uh, yes, sir. I, uh, from my side, I would like to acknowledge. Uh, yes, sir. So proceed, sir. Proceed. Proceed, yeah. sir. Uh, I, I, again, 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 oh, it's, it's, it's very much happy to be the part of this particular uh, uh, internship. Uh, just I throw some insights. That's it. I know I, I, I never uh, went much deep into that because no, just I prefer and want to know. Just I want to give a motivational thoughts of IoT. I don't know how much I have done and how much I have given to the students, but anyway, it's a small initiative which I have done to each and every student. It's a big ocean, as I said. No, just uh, get into the ocean, try to swim and uh, try to come out. We can get a lot of uh, things and we can learn a lot of things by your reverse. Uh, the outside, I like to thank the entire uh, team of members for giving an opportunity to talk a few words about IoT and cyber security. And I would like to, at this point of time, I'd like to Genial. thank Rondes the time. entire team Rondes of Rondes. members, my members, like you know, the NCTS team of uh, KIT College of Institute of Technology and uh, 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 Professor Prabhakaran, who has given me and helped me a lot by giving a lot of inputs. Uh, the, my engineer, Tangavel engineer, Harish, and uh, I'd like to thank the management for giving an opportunity uh, to proceed uh, uh, very freely uh, to participate in this particular forum very freely. Thanks for uh, giving permission from the management side and thanks for accepting me to be the part of this one. I thank uh, uh, the president, uh, Gokul sir, Viknesh, Bala Murugan, uh, Prakash, and uh, each and every student friends in the in the meeting. Uh, thank you, Ananda. Thank you for your patient listening. Uh, Thank you, Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Even uh, we also thank uh, your management who has given you the uh, approval to deliver this wonderful session. Uh, thank you so much. Can I invite uh, Dr. Bala Murugan? Uh, uh, yeah, yes, what you are seeing background is this like it's a NCDS lab, laboratory situated, I mean, located in our campus. Actually, we are doing a kind of research here. Uh, that is the team oh, of nice professors working actually. on this. Okay, very nice, sir. Yeah, Bala Murugan, yeah. please proceed. Yes, 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 Google. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you, Suresh, for your wonderful session. So it was uh, uh, excellent uh, that uh, I could see that more people have poured in a uh, lot of questions and uh, they have given, uh, they want to have an insight of each and everything. That is the curiosity. A speaker who... who
whoever delivers the information so that should create a, the, that should ignite their uh, thought process the same way you have done it and i could see that more people have poured in a lot of questions on iot and they also have thought process of biological methods also apart from engineering they have come about uh, t- talking about the dna and rna too so it's a very good information that has been thrown to the public and uh, i really appreciate i don't have uh, a word to appreciate the situation that uh, in spite of his busy schedule even in, uh, during this uh, covid period he is working uh, 24 bar 7 in his college uh, and uh, be, be a part of it uh, uh, within the time period he has come down to deliver the lectures and although he has done lot of things in electrical system uh, to motivate more people he has come down to talk about uh, cyber security so which is the talk of the town right away so every people who are connected to a node uh, i believe so some of the student have asked about the zoom player too so everywhere the connectivity is there so every time when we connect uh, we have a threat we think that someone is following us so that is the, that threat has been uh, uh, revealed and uh, we we need not have any such uh, complications like uh, someone is watching or someone is going to intrude into your system so that has been Uh, clarified by suresh and uh, i think that uh, it is a wonderful session uh, that is that could be watched in youtube also at a later time so like uh, whenever we have such clarification we can also throw uh, queries to uh, suresh so who is a wonderful person i personally know him so i need to give a few words about his personal contact he is always a helping mind and he always used to motivate people so wherever he goes he uh, set his benchmark so in such a way that uh, uh, right now he has done a lot of social activity and he has connected uh, waste management uh, in coimbatore and uh, he also connected the municipality people to help out the uh, turn the villages to uh, more of uh, Uh, automated system and the engineering has brought as he started up with the things like said uh, an engineer is a god so the same way uh, the, all the engineers who are listening also they need to make themselves as a deity who would been uh, followed by or prayed by all their parents actually so the disciplinary mode that is been given by them is about the social activities when you do some social service automatically you are becoming a godfather for everyone the same way he has given uh, he has touched to each and everything so discipline to cyber security has got a lot of shifting but still he has touched everything and uh, thank you so much resh thank you so much for your time and uh, uh, as gokul said uh, we need to thank uh, the college too so who has given the Uh, uh, this particular laboratory to be utilized and uh, also deliver the lectures so thank you so much balamurugan uh, all the people in the group is like you know tamil Uh, somewhat uh, some 10 to 15 people know tamil uh, although tamil is a language which is a national language which has been accredited you can talk uh, at least they can use no, this no, just uh, i want to i want to give the last, last only one quote that's the good indeed yes they can google um, it and translate it you can give go ahead go ahead <laughs> and people asked for some kind of links let's just i would just like to share you those uh, links to you to you and i would just send it out send, send those links to them later okay uh, for every engineer you know i used to say like Uh, be sustainable always create be a creator and have a positive energy in yourself always don't never and never think about negative things there are a lot of negative oh. things will give and give an impact on you but never think about any negative things always keep positive in that way there is a quote in tamil i can uh, i want to please allow me permission to talk in tamil in this particular forum because a lot of people are there uh, with uh, different uh, areas and different cultures different languages but still since i am uh, I'm from Tamil Nadu. I want to give you one in Tamil. Mutiyum yena ni nena 